Hello to all of my comic book collectors, Dante D here, and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. But before we get into this video, I would just like to all ask you, please, to all do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I normally hate asking people to like and subscribe because I feel like every YouTuber does it, but we are on the road to hitting 10,000 subscribers, and I'd really appreciate it if you could help me hit that goal. So today we're talking about the difference between direct market comics and the standard newsstand edition comics. So I have here, can you spot the difference between these two comic books? These are the same two comic books, but there is a slight difference. And I know you're all very, very smart people out there. And I'm sure you can see that the one on the right uh, has a Spider-Man in the bottom corner and in the top left corner there is an m there with the issue number and the price as opposed to on the left you have uh, just a regular box for the issue number and the price and you have a, a barcode at the bottom left corner of the comic book on the left hand side so i've actually had some questions from collectors about this in the past and i thought i'd do a video just to kind of clear it up a little bit uh once i had it subscriber asked me the question, you know, my, my comic book ha has an M in the top left corner. Does that make it any less collectible than the one with the, with the box? The short answer to that is, is, is no, it's not any less collectible. Uh, they are the same comic book. They're printed on the same presses. They, uh, they were released at the same time. The only difference was, is the, the method in which one was sold over the other. Uh, so basically what happened was in the late 1970s, uh, Marvel decided to change, Marvel and other comic book companies as well, decided to change their uh, comic book distribution methods. Because formula, formally what these companies would do is these comic books that were sold would be sold right to newsstands. And the newsstands would sell what they could, but at the end of the day, if there were any issues that were left unsold, they could return those books and for a refund, they could return the unsold books. Well, as comic book shops started rising in popularity, Marvel changed their distribution methods. They started distributing these books right to the comic book shops. They would offer them at a discount. The only catch was, was that any books that were unsold could not be returned. So the person who owned the comic book store, whenever they were buying these books, they were buying them for good. And if they didn't sell them, they were stuck with them. Now, spotting the difference between the two is relatively easy. Uh, in the early days of the direct market, uh, usually what you would find is the direct market comic books would have a black diamond, or sorry, a white diamond in the top left corner, like you're seeing on this uh, comic book where it says direct edition. And the newsstand edition would actually just be the standard box. Now, if you look at the bottom left of the direct edition here, there's just kind of like a slash through the barcode. Uh, that's basically what they, how they started uh, the direct market, just by slashing out that barcode. Uh, but as years went on, they kind of thought that that wasn't very visually appealing, and I definitely would agree with them. Uh, and they would usually replace that with a little sketch of a character that, that especially happened in the 90s but for the longest time it was just this spider-man head in the, in the uh, bottom left corner like we're seeing uh in in this comic book on the right uh but in the 90s you started getting you know celebratory uh messages like you know 30 years of spider-man or i think mcfarland did a little sketch in the, in the bottom corner something uh but as the, and as the years went on and the direct market was progressing and rising in popularity, uh, they, they changed it to this, this M. So the direct market uh, comic would have an M in the top left corner. And the standard newsstand edition would have just the regular box. Now you're probably wondering, you know, First of all, why? Why would they do this? And the reason for this is uh, they didn't want comic book store owners uh, trying to beat the system by basically just 
handing over their unsold issues to a friend or somebody that owned a newsstand and have them resubmit them for the refund. Uh, so they made, uh, they had those distinct markings to, to prevent that fraudulent behavior. And you're probably also wondering, you know, is there any difference in value between these? Well, uh, it depends. Uh, I have to say, they are the same comic book, printed at the same time, whatever, whatever. One isn't a first print, one is not a second print. Again, printed at the same time, I, I need to reiterate that. But nowadays, a lot of collectors are actually focusing more on the newsstand editions from this time period. And that is because as the direct edition and the direct market started rising in popularity, people were not buying their comic books off of the newsstands anymore. They were going right into shops. So they overtook, the direct market overtook the uh, old way of distributing. So there are a lot more direct editions out there of comic books than newsstands. So people are really, really focusing on uh, newsstand editions. But in terms of value, the newsstand editions might be a little bit more valuable just because they are rarer, but uh, the direct editions still have value as you know, if it's if it's a key if it's a key comic book, and there are other editions from this time period that I would like to talk about actually in the next video that I believe will become even more collectible than the newsstand editions. If you have a feeling that you know what I'm going to be talking about in the next video, leave it in the comments because I'd really like to see if anybody guesses it correctly. So, the next edition we're going to be talking about are even more scarce. Than the, than the new stand editions of, of comic books. So that about does it for our video today. Really hope that you enjoyed it. What do you think of the direct market, the new stand? What do you prefer? When you collect, do you often go right for the direct editions or do you look specifically for the new stand editions? Love to hear from you in the comments. As always, again, please like, subscribe. And as always, this is Dante D signing off. I will see you all in the next episode.